Aha, me hearties. Today's story is a pirate story. It's called Captain Yellowbelly, the tale of the terrible pirate. Yellowbelly was a terrible pirate. Not grrr, terrible like Redbeard, the meanest, scariest pirate on all the seven seas. No, Yellowbelly was just terrible at being a pirate. So much so that all the other pirates laughed at him and stole his treasure. Early one morning, following a heavy storm, Yellow Belly was busy mopping his deck when a seagull squawked overhead and smack! A great big poo landed in Yellow Belly's eye. This made Yellow Belly a little cross. He marched off to wash the poo out of his eye, but whoops! He didn't see his wooden cleaning bucket and stepped right into it. So not only did Yellow Belly have poo in his eye, but now he also had a bucket stuck on his foot. If Yellow Belly had been a little cross before, now he was quite angry. He clunked into his cabin to wash his eye and put on an eye patch, but whoops, he put it on the wrong eye and tumbled head over heels into his wardrobe. So not only did Yellow Belly have poo in his eye and a bucket stuck on his foot, but now he also had a coat hanger wedged up his sleeve. If Yellow Hair Belly had been quite angry before, now he was really mad. He dragged himself out of his wardrobe, but whoops, he didn't see his parrot's cage above him and he caught the coat hanger in the door. The door flew wide open, waking up his parrot from his snooze. So not only did Yellow Belly have poo in his eye and a bucket stuck on his foot and an old coat hanger wedged up his sleeve, but now he also had an upset parrot pecking at his head. If Yellow Belly had been really mad before, now he was absolutely furious. He hobbled onto deck to sort himself out, but whoops, he had forgotten about his mop and stepped right on the handle flicking a thick clump of stinky, slimy seaweed towards him. So not only did Yellow Belly have poo in his eye and a bucket stuck on his foot and a coat hanger wedged up his sleeve and an upset parrot pecking at his head, but now he also had a huge clump of stinky, slimy seaweed stuck to his chin. In the chaos, Yellow Belly didn't notice that Redbeard, the meanest, scariest pirate on all the seven seas, had climbed aboard his ship. Redbeard had come to steal Yellow Belly's treasure. He was expecting to be met by the usual wimpy, cowardly Yellow Belly. But instead, staggering towards Redbeard came a terrible pirate with thick wooden stump for a leg, a crooked eye patch, a hook for a hand, a crazy parrot perched on his shoulder and a slimy, straggly beard. Ah! Now Red Beard had come face to face with many a frightening foe in his time, but this beast was without doubt the ugliest, scariest, most terrible pirate he'd ever had the most fortune of sailing across. He did something he'd never done before. Redbeard took one look at the plank, ran along it and jumped off. From that day on, Captain Yellowbelly was known as the Terrible Pirate. And you know what? Nobody ever troubled him or his treasure again. Although he did let his parrot perch on his shoulder and he always kept an eye patch, a bucket, a clump of seaweed and a coat hanger nearby. Well... You never know who may turn up and invite us. Yeah. Hope you liked our pirate story.